What is going on my dudes? Tasha here back again with another Genshin Impact video and if you guys like the content please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and as always let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this video. Today we're going to be talking about the hate between pay to play and free to play and honestly why I think it's stupid. Now there have been plenty of Genshin tubers actually talking about this but this is more so in general for every gacha game. This isn't like just universal to Genshin. This is universal to Gacha. And I kind of want to tackle this because I, I don't know, maybe my two cents might actually matter to somebody. I don't know. I'm putting it out there. But this is how I feel about the whole pay to play versus free to play. You can't have a Gacha game without one or the other. And here's why. The free-to-play players are the ones that obviously don't spend the money. If you don't spend the money, the game's not going to stay up. And the reason why I say that is because nobody in their right mind as a company is going to keep their game up if they're not making money. Uh, look at many different, you know, gotcha games in general. Like, we had uh, the Naruto game shut down, um, which sucked for a lot of people, but, you know, it is what it is. Dragalia Lost is another one, which wasn't entirely making a lot of money. I know that some people might argue, but that's basically what ended up happening to Dragalia, was that it wasn't making a lot of money. And that's what happens with a lot of gotchas in general. Um, a lot, like, I would say two to three of the gotchas that I play, honestly, I'm pretty sure are going to shut down by next year. I, I, I only say that because while they are fun, they're way too free to play friendly. And I know that some people are going to be like, but that's not fair to the free-to-play players, and I understand that. But there is such thing as too much free-to-play, and there is such thing as too much pay-to-play. Now, when it comes to, in general, free-to-play players, we do, as pay-to-play players like myself, we do need those free-to-play players. I'm not saying we need everybody to be free-to-play because that wouldn't make any sense. Again, the company would not be making any money. But the free-to-play players are the ones that are going to challenge, you know, these things and basically show how good of a free-to-play player account can be a, a very big um creator in my personal opinion named jay fanta who does a lot of dokkan battle content dragon ball z dokkan battle which is one of my favorite gotchas i love it watching him free-to-play stomp all these hard events that are in the game is amazing to watch and i have a hard time doing a pay to play so that just goes to show that yes you don't need to be pay to play but there's the other side of the coin there's the pay to play players like myself like you know in genshin impact like you know tectone and uh a, a bunch of others it's just how it is like if we didn't do the pay to play to review these characters and show them off the company hoyoverse wouldn't be making any money and that's the thing that i, I want free to play players to understand we don't go free to play because we actually like you know the game not saying that we yeah that was the wrong thing to say it's not that free to play players don't actually like the game it's that more so we have the disposable income to really put towards the game itself to continue seeing more stuff to come in we want to see more and the more that gets dropped in you know it helps the free to play ba base to either save their primos and understand exactly what's going on with the game so ultimately what it boils down to is that you can't really have one or the other you get you need both in a gotcha community and i really hope that coming out of this video like again i made some points that may have seemed a little weird and i took back one because it wasn't it was me doing verbal diarrhea at that point but the end game of this is that pay to play players cannot have a game without free-to-play players it's just how it is they're the ones who are keeping the traffic up and constantly playing the game because they need to farm the resources that are needed and free-to-play players can't have a game without pay-to-play players because of the fact that the pay-to-play players are the ones who are financing the game in that sense so let me know in the comments below what you guys think am i a freaking crazy dude um i do like i said apologize to free-to-play players one comment i did say in there was not actually the case i know you guys love to play the game and that's why you play it consistently so again i apologize for that that wasn't what i was meaning to say so 
Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to entertain you. We will be back again with another video at the end of the week. Love you guys to death. Catch you guys in the next video.